So just stay where you are. I, am I being detained? Yes, you're being de detained. The police are coming right now, so just stay where you are. I, am I being detained? Yes, you're being de detained. Dispatch is 17. That reporting party is waving me down. There are countries that we can't do what we're doing. There are countries that I would be arrested in handcuffs and probably tossed in prison for years for what I am doing right now. And if you think you can take pictures inside my office of me. Hey everybody, KULT News back again with another video. Today we're in Yellow Springs, Ohio. Yellow Springs is definitely a liberal city. Um, they got a lot of great art around here. Like, check out this bench, man. Check that out. In fact, uh, just a few minutes ago, we are over here talking to a fellow who's painting a, uh, painting a fire hydrant. He's normally, uh, normally is uh, a meter man walking around, making sure people aren't overstaying their welcome in a parking spot. And, uh, when he's not doing that, well, right now he's out painting uh, painting fire hydrants. So, as you know, we're big fans of uh, of public art. There's some right there. Did a little time lapse here. I'll pop it in there and show you. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of public art in uh, in. Yellow Springs. Let's now. We do have a credit union here. Check it out. This is a uh, Yellow Springs Federal Credit Union. Is what this is. Hi, how are you? Yellow Springs Federal Credit Union. They're open Monday through Friday, nine to five. They're closed on Saturdays. I presume they're closed on Sundays. What's that? You know what? I actually, I, I cannot, I'm sorry, I cannot talk about a, a uh, ongoing investigation, so I can't, I really can't discuss it or anything like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yellow Springs Federal Credit Union. Actually, it says until further notice, they actually close at 4 p.m. Uh, Monday through Friday. So they are not open until 5 p.m. Currently, they're open until 4 p.m. Let me show you some other art here. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of parking in front of credit unions for very long. So let's uh, walk down the street and see what we got here. We've got Strolling Deity. This is called Passerine of Peace. This is called Skater. Very interesting. Well, right now I'm just taking pictures of this art in here. You uh, you work here? No. Uh, just curious. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just just doing a little uh, taking little pictures and video. All right. Let's go ahead and head up to the uh, bank. Um, this bank appears to have a lot of cameras inside, not, not so much on the outside. Uh, I'm not seeing, I mean, obviously you're going to have a camera in the, uh, in the ATM as always, but yeah, I don't, uh, I don't see any other cameras outside. They have several inside though. You can, you can look at it, you can see this is one inside here, but it's aimed inside. You've got, you've got another one right here, but again, it is aimed inside, not outside.
first time I've seen somebody carrying a newspaper in 10 years. But about 10 years? I said, it's the first time I've seen somebody carrying a newspaper in about 10 years. <laughs> oh, well, it's just full of all kinds of banking it's like It's like, you know, I, the newspapers are going the way of the dodo, man. <laughs> They'll all be replaced soon, sadly. I'm not working for a contractor. Uh, you work here. You work here. You work for the bank. I was just in there. Oh, gotcha, And gotcha. I asked them why you were taking pictures like, we in know. the in the bank. They have no idea, right? <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> taking pictures outside of the bank, but they yeah. said they didn't know why you were taking pictures in the bank. You need to go in and give them your card so they don't call the police, honey. Uh, I'm not too terribly worried about it. I'm not on a public sidewalk, well, so. Well, Are you I, trying to get famous? Yes, I'm going to give her two seconds. Of I love famous. your glasses, by the way. I told him to give the card to the bank inside. The girls are afraid because he's taking pictures uh, yeah. inside the bank. Uh, and he doesn't want to give them the, his card. Well, you're not allowed to take pictures inside the bank. You're allowed to take pictures on the public right away and in the public right away, but not inside a building. That's yeah, if they, they've come that out, I'll, I'll talk to them if they come out. But I love your glasses, though. That would What's be your name? Actually, Mike. Mike. Yeah. Well, I don't really. I <clears throat> when I'm when I'm on a job and in the middle of an investigation, well, I'll just I, I call can't. Police. I don't care. Well, I, I, don't care. I don't. I think no, you're being no, silly. No. You don't. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Yellow Springs Dispatch. How may I help you? Yes, this is Joe Dunphy, and I went into the bank, and there is a man standing on the sidewalk taking pictures in the bank from outside of the bank. And I said to the girls, who is that? They said, we don't know. Now, I came out, and I walked up to him with Larry Electric, and I said, you need to go in and give the girls your card because they don't know who you are. He said, I don't have to do that. I can take pictures in the bank from the sidewalk on my own. I don't trust him. I think a policeman ought to come up here and talk to him if he's that smart. He's still standing there taking pictures inside the bank from on the sidewalk. He okay. said it was legal. I don't know. Well, I mean, it is legal. Uh, I can have an officer come out and speak with him and make sure that, you know, he doesn't have any warrants or something like that, but he is correct. He is permitted to take pictures. You're allowed to just stand outside the bank and take pictures? Mm-hmm. Inside? Yeah. Yep. If you're in a public place, you can take pictures, and if there's nothing blocking you from any views, you're permitted to do so. I don't trust him, but whatever you say. Whatever okay. you say. I what? don't think that's right. I what bank is this? He could stand, he was standing taking pictures while I was cashing a check. That can't be possible. But I guess you're right. I know you're right. <laughs> but I still would have somebody watch, come up and ask him. He wouldn't even give, it, give me his name. Why wouldn't you give somebody your name if you were doing something legal? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, yeah, he's he's not required to do so. What bank is he standing outside of? The U.S. Bank. Okay. Can you give me a physical description of him? Clothing? Anything? Let like me that? talk to the chief a minute. I gotta talk to the chief. I I'm I just I just gotta talk to her. Okay. Well, she's not here at the moment. She's out um, of the office. But I can have another officer make contact with you there. Well, he was just in here just wa a few minutes ago, the officer that's walking up and down the street. If he's still on the street, he can come back. Well, I'm going to go visit my sister in the nursing home in a minute. Okay, so uh, where do you want the officer to make contact with you at? Okay. I'm at my office, on Zenia Avenue. You're sure that that's legal, that you could stand outside and take pictures in a bank? Yes, if he can see it from the sidewalk, he's permitted to take photos. All right, he's walking around. I bet he's going to leave right now. He's going to go to his car. He knows darn well. I told him. I said, I'm going in and call the police. Okay, what does he look like? 
He's got a blue hat, a white T-shirt, a great big black bag on his shoulder, and he's moving around to the uh, money machine. So go tell, tell him to come and just ask him his name. I, if you're doing something that's not illegal, why wouldn't you give their, your name? I don't understand that. Okay, it's up. Uh, it's not my job. <laughs> Do what you can, honey. If you think it's legal, let him sit there, stand there. I don't care. It's all right. I'll talk to you later, honey. All righty. Bye. So I'm snapping pictures, and uh, the silhouette in there. I can actually really only see the silhouette from like the 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 waist down. Um, it appears to be a female wearing a dress. But that's all I can tell. I can't tell if this female is black, white, Hispanic. I can't tell if they've got uh, what kind of hairstyle they have. I can't tell what color their outfit is. I can just tell. Wait, oh, I, I see some shoes. I can see the bottom of their shoes there. But, yeah, other than that, I can't see anything inside this bank. So when they come out, if they come out, or if the cops come here and ask me what I'm doing, I'm going to point them to this window and ask them what they think I can see inside of there. And then a nice older woman that told me that she was going to call the cops on me, she actually went into this dumpy real estate place. Which makes me want to go over here to dumpy real estate and see what's going down. This is one of the situations I can't see hardly anything, but here she comes. I can barely make her out. Hey, what's Hi. going on? Uh, not much. What's going on with you? I'm just trying to see what you're doing. Let's take some pictures. You got some school, cool glasses too. Do you guys get your glasses in the same place? Those we are, do. They're sweet glasses. I yeah. love them. I love them. Yeah. We just didn't know what you're taking the pictures for. Um, you know, I have a, I have a very, very short list of people that I can talk to about what I'm doing. I'm not going to say that it's not possible you're on the list, or you're not on the list, rather. You might be on the list. I could check if you'd like. But, I mean, I kind of doubt yeah, it's a super... Well, you're taking our office, right? Super short list. What's yeah. that? You're I'm taking a picture of our office? Well, I was, yeah. Um, let me see. Oh, wait, and i got to catch this phone call. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. I'm Sheila Dumpy. Oh, yep, nope, nope. Yes. Yeah, Sheila Dumpy is not on the list of people that I can talk to about the ongoing investigation, I'm afraid. So. Okay, the police are coming right now, so just stay where you are. I, am I being detained? Yes, you're being de detained because the police are just going to turn around right there and come and talk to you. Well. So, that's fine. When you don't want to give your name, that's okay. You don't want to give your address. Yeah, There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I, I didn't know if you were just taking pictures of our office, what you were doing. Yeah, well, I was taking pictures of the bank over here. And, and uh, the, the bank and, and Dumpy Real Estate. And I think I had one other thing on the list. Um, oh, we weren't on the list a minute ago. Do, 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 wait, wait a second. Well, I didn't have Sheila Dumpy on the list. Uh, are you a Dumpy as well? She's Joe Dumpy. Oh, no. Yep. You Teresa are not on the Dumpy? list. You are no, not on the list either, I'm afraid. No. Isn't that interesting? Just... It, it is interesting. Well, we just didn't know if you were, eh. were going to use, obviously, the yeah, sure, building sure. for something. We'd yeah. just like to know what it's for. Yeah. No, I, I just, I, I'm not allowed to get into it while I'm actually working on a job, unfortunately. Okay. This is this a newspaper right next to us? The Yellow Springs News? Yeah. I love that they still have a newspaper in town. Check this out. Yellow Springs News. Love it. You don't see that much anymore. Everybody's going out of business. All the newspapers are going out of business. It's terrible. I just, like I said, I was just I'm curious if you're using. The policeman just went up there and he's coming down. I suspect it's okay. Yeah, it's curiosity, but I suspect the the police. He's coming right along. He's waving to oh, me. There you go. All right, there he is. Know. There he is. All right. All right. Yes, yeah. I want to know. I don't care. What would you say if I told you that they're not going to tell you what I'm doing either? I don't care if they don't tell you what you're doing. All right, all right. 
Very photogenic town, I'll tell you that right now. Dispatch the 17, that reporting party is waving me down and she's interacting. Hey, I'll see you later. She's interacting with the, uh, the subject at this time. Sir, would you like 94 to respond? I don't think so. Hello, sir. Hey. She's in town and she's angry because I won't tell her what I'm doing and who I am. Okay. I said, yeah, no, I won't. I'm okay. sorry. Well, Mrs. Dumphy, here's kind of the thing. Uh, it, it is, oh, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna, speaking of public town, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my, uh, my camera as well. Okay. Uh, because I have to do that whenever I'm responding to a call. Um, in a public place, you're allowed to take photographs of things that are in public. People are walking inside in public. Inside my office? Inside your office? No. If, he's well, if been, he's in your office, no. if it's something he can see from the street, then yes, he is, unless you want to close curtains or something. Um, yeah, it's it's legal. He doesn't have to, uh, he's allowed by the law to take photographs of things in a public place. Can you get his name for me? And his... Well, I can ask him if he wants to tell okay, me his name. Go ahead. Let's I would see. rather not give my name at this time, ma'am. Okay. And he's been taking pictures inside the bank. Well, yeah, outside of the bank. Outside inside the bank. The bank outside while of the I bank. was cashing a check. That is not correct. Mrs. Dumpy, I want you to take a look at those windows across the street. You tell me if you seriously think that from a sidewalk I can see what is on that check of yours. It's just not. Even, even here. If you wrote a check in here, held it up like that, I would not be able to see what is on that check. And the bank windows across yeah. the street, in my no. opinion, actually, the tent is even worse right. on theirs than it is on I, yours. I don't disagree with you, because uh, I don't know what he's doing, but he is not committing a crime at this time by taking photographs in a public place. This lady's taking pictures of us. Yep, she is, and that's So she's going to have his picture unless she's she, with him. She may be, and she does, I suspect. <laughs> Mrs. Yeah, Dumpy, I will man. tell you, I will tell but you who I am. Your... I will tell you who I am. I'm going to slowly reach in my bag and get something out of here, so so there's no concern there. Do, 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 do. All right. My name is Mike Norton. I am with KULT News, and this has been a test which you have, I'm afraid, failed. Uh, Officer Andrus. Andrus, however has passed with flying colors. Officer Andrus understands that it is part of the First Amendment. Free press, so one can take photos and videos. The general rule of thumb is if you can see it, you can take pictures of it. From unless unless you are in a bathroom, locker room, courtroom, or dressing room, really, that's about it. So if I'm walking down the street, yep, I can aim my camera at your, at your building. If you don't like it, if you don't like people taking pictures, of what is inside your office, I'd recommend you shut your blinds. Uh, it's as simple as that. It's it's a public sidewalk and people will. This is a very, very photogenic town. And so people will take pictures of it. I am not surprised at all that Officer Anders understands and knows the laws. You know, uh, you come from a generation that, that's not much removed from mine. And uh, we, we forget all too soon how precious our rights are, because there are countries that we can't do what we're doing. There are countries that I would be arrested in handcuffs and probably tossed in prison for years for what I am doing right now. And God bless it, America is not one of those countries. Yes, ma'am. I willfully gave you my name. I am 89 years old. Okay. I've been born here. I know most all the people. Understandable. And if you think you can take pictures inside my office of me then that's fine no yeah from the sidewalk from the sidewalk but i didn't want to alarm you i just wanted to no. alleviate your concerns let you know that i'm not but up to anything it, bad it's just yes but the fact that you will not give me your name well, you shouldn't have to while you give take right, my picture no why well you, you shouldn't why have can't to because you? because it's america it's, yes it's, it is america it's... but why can't you tell me where you're going to put my picture you just told me you I failed the test. Yeah. yeah Where are you, you did, gonna put you my picture now? Where are you going to show my picture? You cannot do that. All over social media and I can. I, I can. And or some analysis. YouTube, uh, Facebook, not Twitter, I hate Twitter. Uh, TikTok. It's okay, it's, it's not surprising. You're you're you know, you would say eighty three years old, it's it's understandable. Sometimes it's a misunderstanding. People just don't get it, and I. Well, I, I understand that. it, yeah. but if you're kind enough to say, you could have walked in my office and said, mm. 
Yeah, but but if I shouldn't have to explain. Everybody else is... I understand, but I shouldn't have to explain who I am when I'm walking on the sidewalk taking pictures. That's that's Nazi Germany. Papers, you, please. No, no, not uh, if you're taking pictures of uh, me. If you don't like it, then you shut your blinds. It's okay. You're in public. There's no expectation of privacy in public. And this Mrs. this is your total way that you make a living by taking pictures of other people. That's um, good. I am a photojournalist for a yeah. living. Yes, yes. No. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. As long as he's that's in a public, a law? if he's in a public but place, just just so you know, and and again, things from the in public. Place. And I didn't have to tell you my Inside name, the, Ms. Well, Dem, I didn't have to tell you my name. Didn't have to tell you who I was with. No, I did that just, as a courtesy to you because I didn't want you to be concerned for the rest of the day. You didn't give me your name. I did, Mike Norton. My name is Mike Norton with K U L T News. Okay. And uh, and I didn't have to give my name, but I did that as a courtesy to you because I didn't want you to be concerned at the end of the day. And you still have spectacular glasses. Thank you. So I. I you know, no hard feelings here. I, I didn't want to upset you. Certainly didn't want, uh, want didn't want you to be worried about your business or anything like that. Um, all was well, but yeah, it is. It's kind of a you can call it a First Amendment test. Eighty-nine years old. I say I'll be ninety-nine in April. And you'll be you'll be. And I'm standing 80. here asking you very politely, mm -hmm. in a place where I've been in business for sixty-six years, and at that bank for sixty since I was born. My okay. parents went to that bank. And I think I have the privilege just to ask you. You do. You certainly can ask. You certainly I know ask. everybody. I've been in business you here. You certainly I can ask, but you need to understand, though, that people don't have to answer your questions when they're out and about in public. Okay. So, okay. I agree on the... that it's polite to do so, and I'm glad that he did tell you, but no, he didn't have to. It's true. Anyway, okay. so all is well. I, I told her who I am and who, uh, who I'm with and all that, so all is well. Mrs. Dumpy, I wish you the best of days, and, and uh, have you had lunch today already? I've had lunch. Okay, Thank I was going to I was gonna send you some treats in here or something, that I might still be at. Do you have, do you have anything on this street that you like? Are there any, any, any pastries or anything around here that you're really a big fan of? Not really, not really. Coffee shop? Do you, no. do you attend a local coffee shop around here? No, no. I'm going to the nursing home to see one of my sisters that's older than me and I have another one that's 97 so 97. I that's where I'm and you'll going be 89 today. this year you say and I'm yes well the fact that you're still working on a daily basis I, is very I'm impressive working and hoping that everybody's doing this and that's why I generally although I don't have to you'll see no, I, I generally have the habit of turning my camera away from children now I don't have to I could record all these kids walking by but it's just my personal rule of thumb it's just you know the people People get upset when little kids. So I, I try to be. I I, I, I really do. It. Well, I I, <laughs> I try. I try. So, Officer Harris, how are you? Oh, no complaints. Anyways, well, let me turn that thing back around. Appreciate you guys coming out. I, I I very much appreciate you knowing and recognizing our rights. And uh, she's a sweet old lady, and there's no way I was gonna let her sweat this out the rest of the day wondering who the heck I was. So appreciate it. I'm heading out, guys. You have a good one. Thank you, sir. So that was Yellow Springs, Ohio. Speaking of Yellow Springs, this is the Yellow Springs that Yellow Springs, Ohio is named after because of the uh, high iron content. It actually turns the rocks and pretty much anything it touches, including wood, yellow. We only encountered one citizen in the town of Yellow Springs that seemed to have a problem with us, and it actually wasn't a bank. It was a realtor that was across the street from the bank. A uh, gal that's been doing business there, I think she said for 60 years. She'll turn 89 this year. And uh, Mrs. Dumpy, I actually, uh, I gave her my name, told her who I was with before we actually parted ways. Just out of sheer respect for my elders, I didn't want that uh, Mrs. Dumpy to, to worry, uh, wondering all day what the guy with the camera was up to. So. I went ahead and told her. I didn't see if there was any harm in that. Um, this has been Mike Norton, KULT News, Yellow Springs, Ohio. So who are these people that are on your shirt? Horrifying. 
These are the Freedom Riders in the 1960s. Remember the Freedom oh, Riders? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The, the, white, the white folks who go into Where's the blacks John? only. And they go Where's in the... John? John Lewis? He might be on this one, is he? Let me see. He I think that's there. him right there. Oh, you think that's him right there? Yeah, I think so. I think that's him. And he changed. Yeah, yeah he did. <laughs> and, uh, His dad Riders, participated the in that. changed the world because they weren't going to put up with the status quo. Anymore. Well, and the modern. question is, yeah. do we have some more of those around? Uh, yeah. I don't get that. Why can't you? Just I mean, we're all taking pictures with our phones. They just can stop in us. Troy, Ohio. I was in Troy, Ohio. We were in Troy, Ohio yesterday at the Miami County Soil and Water Conservation District. Very, very much public place. I went in there, was taking a few pictures. I had some pamphlets and flyers in the place and all that, asked them a couple questions. No, no, they called the police on us. Police showed up, the officer walked in, grabs my camera, that oh. information, takes it outside, pulls my chair out and says, you're out, you're out, get out. Now I'm like, this is a public place. I have every right to be here. Nope, nope. Oh, yes. Go talk outside in public. Sir, we're in public right here. Excuse me. Don't, don't move hey, us with Sir, you. please don't. Whoa, hey. Come on. Excuse me. Come on, let's go. Excuse me. This is crazy. Who do you think you are? Uh, and then he threatened to, he said, you're going to jail. Yeah, yeah. And then he, and then he, he claimed, he claimed, pretended he was on the phone with the county prosecutor <gasps> and said, oh, what's that? It's, it's not a, it's not a public building. All right. And he says to his partner, he goes to jail. And then he goes, all right, put your camera down, you're going to jail. And I'm like, all right. A bank Perfect. vice president said, it is my constitutional right to know his name and phone number. And he wasn't even in the bank. He was in another state watching on security cameras. He was, there's a man out there taking pictures of our bank. I want to know his name and phone number. That's my oh, constitutional right. Well, you're going to take pictures because you're going to rob him tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. He's like, well, it's throwing that around. Take his picture. Yeah, yeah, what well, robber watch out in broad daylight like carrying this thing? Give me the picture, you know, all over the place. I want to make sure I know which store to go in. Yeah. You know, we're going to try to do this other places that have been Yeah. All over the place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have done it in Kentucky, Indiana. Where else did we go? South Carolina. South Carolina. Lord Almighty. Knoxville. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, Tennessee. Tennessee. So, so South Carolina, Tennessee. South Carolina was actually really good about was it. it really? Greenville, South Carolina. Carolina. Mostly. Greenville. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Greenville, South Carolina, they were spectacular to the point where it was ridiculous. I called the mayor's office and asked if I could meet with the mayor, and boom, the next day I meet with the mayor, shaking his hand, had a little face-to-face -face chat with him. They've really come a long way in Greenville. I, they've gotten really pretty. They've really oh, revitalized the downtown, and it's just really nice. Yeah, yeah. Good. Greenville, South Carolina was a, a, downtown Greenville was a hot mess 25 years ago. If you were to Google Greenville, South Carolina today, Greenville, South Carolina 25 years ago, totally it's different. night and yeah. day. It looks, like, it looks like a ghetto, the slums, a big, giant, beautiful hotel that homeless people were using. And yeah, like back in the 70s, like he's always said, we would be like, hey, hey mom, that? yeah, you wave at the camera, hi, right. mom. Yeah, yeah. We knew it didn't steal our souls. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of jail if you can. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, no guarantees. If not, we'll have footage of it going to jail. Yeah. If we see that.
found it. <laughs> <laughs> I see the person in question. I'm going to be uh, parking at Speedway, and then I will do a business check at some fees. 1426. Hey, Doug. Hey, what's up? Hey, um, so I just wanted to bring it to your attention and let you kind of run with whatever you wanted to do. So I got a call from Joe Dunphy. She was at the U.S. Yep. Bank. And she said, and she was very outraged that there was a man outside the bank on the sidewalk taking pictures, like, of the bank. Yeah, um, I had uh, somebody at, um, at the, um, at the uh, uh, credit union say the same thing. So okay. Pictures. Yeah, so I was, she's like, well, she was very outraged. And I was like, well, he's in a public space, like, he's permitted to right. take pictures. And she yeah. said, well, well, I went up to him. And I told him he needed to go take his card in there and tell it because the ladies didn't know who he was. And why would he not give me his name if he's not doing something illegal? I said, because he doesn't have to. Like, he's minding his own business. It's in a public space. There, You don't. You have no right to privacy somewhere yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then she demanded to speak to Chief. She just needed to speak to Chief, which a torch couldn't do. But I said, I'm happy to have an officer come out and speak with you. And by the end of the conversation, she just was – still could not believe that that was right and that that was accurate. Um, at one point, well, she did ask for an officer to come speak with her at E okay. Avenue, which is her office. But then by the yep. end of it, she seemed like she was just over and didn't care. So if you find yourself in the area I am. and want to uh, stop out. I'll yeah, she. person just see what I think. But uh, I actually just spoke with her not 20 minutes ago. Um, well, that's what she said. She said if that same officer yeah. who was in here a while ago but, uh, okay. yeah, she described him as a guy in a blue hat, white T-shirt, carrying a black bag on his shoulder, which I imagine was probably a camera bag, and that she last saw him going towards the area of the ATM at U.S. Bank. Okay. I will see if I can figure out who he is and uh, just kind of get an eyeball on him. Okay. And, um, okay. So I'll, I guess I'll, I'll do that, and then I'll follow up with Joe. And uh, she's still at her shop and see what she just talked okay. with in there. She just, she just, I think, wants somebody to listen. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Do you want me to make you a different call? Ago. No, not for okay. right now. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll do a business check on her after I drive up down the street for a minute. And, okay. Uh, and we'll just, we'll just figure it out then. All right. Okay? Sounds good. All right. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Thanks, Doug. Bye. Bye-bye. 